All right, back again, Luke here, and today I wanted to show you the havoc that's going on in this room here. Uh, it's a complete disaster. But uh, the main reason for that is because this closet over here, uh, you can see there's a big gaping hole there now. That's because I pulled this beast out here. This is that 29-inch monitor that uh, I kept from the Gunbalina cab. That's the Gunbalina board, which many of you had asked about. That was over there up at the top. And uh, I pulled this thing out today because I was getting sick of that small little PC monitor that I had that was laying down there. And uh, I really wanted to get this thing out. There's no point in having this thing sitting over there. So what I did is uh, I braced up this shelf here pretty hefty duty and uh, put some 2x4s underneath there. Got, uh, got them running uh, along to hold up this uh, tube here. And uh, I plugged the thing in just to make sure it worked and everything, and yeah, it was working out great. The one thing about this monitor here is, if you guys remember from the Gumbelina cab, the way the Gumbelina cab works and a lot of the shooting games work is they have the monitor sitting flat like this, and then they have a mirror like this. So what it does is just like when you, you know, you look in the mirror or you hold up a piece of paper that has something written on it in the mirror, it changes things the other way, or it changes it reverse way. And that's the way this monitor was set up. It was originally set up up to be reversed so when I plugged it all back in you know got everything checked out and to see if this thing was working everything was working great but the image was reversed so if you pick up a monitor and the image is reversed or you uh, want to use a monitor for just regular use but it came out of a reversed uh, cab there's something that you can do and we'll go around the back here and like I said this place is just a disaster if you take a look down at the bottom of this monitor, now some monitors may be set up differently. This one is set up for a DB pin connector uh, here for the video. But uh, other ones you'll be able to see the uh, red, uh, blue, yellow, and green wires here that are wrapped around the uh, yoke of the monitor itself. Those are connected down here to a clip as you can see right there uh, in the far back. There's two separate ones here but there's one that has uh, all four of them connected. The way this works is the green and yellow are your vertical and those will change the vertical uh, either upside down or right side up and the blue and red are going to be your horizontal so they'll change the image either uh, normal or reversed. So the way this was is the red wire was over here far to the uh, left and the blue wire was towards the middle. So what I did is uh, I removed this plug and uh, one thing about uh, monitors when you start messing around with this stuff you'll see there's warning labels all over this high voltage. This is not something that you want to mess with uh, unless the tube is discharged. And uh, if we take a look at it, I'll show you here. I'll turn this thing on. And let's see here. So I just have the Ridge Racer one hooked up for right now so we'll flip that switch on. And I got uh, all of the wiring stuff kind of flopped around here. I'll turn this one on so you guys can take a look at the image and see how it is now. And this monitor itself will not turn on unless it has a proper connection, has something connected up to it. But you can see everything is correct right now. So before it was all backwards. All right, so let's, uh, let's flip this thing off here. Flip that off and we'll flip this thing off. Now this tube right now has a charge to it and uh, it's really dangerous to mess around with because the tube itself is uh, basically live. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to turn off the switch for the power for the tube. I'm going to disconnect that. So this is disconnected for our power over here. And uh, I'll show you how to properly change this around. Uh, you can see here, this is one of my most handy tools, that is uh, a regular screwdriver with a wire attached to it and a gator clip. Now this is used to uh, discharge a monitor. With these monitors, if you try and touch any of the wires on here, um, there's a good chance that it'll send you flying across the room. So you want to go ahead and discharge this thing. So what I do is um, get the chassis here and uh, I scrape away a little bit because you can see it's a little bit dull here but I try and scrape away to get a good connection and uh, 
We've unplugged our tube. Here I'm wearing a pair of electrician's gloves here, and it's a good idea to wear a pair of rubber gloves because even though this is plastic, and generally plastic won't uh, be conductive, if it has any oil on it, if there's anything on this, uh, there's a, a good chance that uh, you'll get that current sent right through your body, and that's something that you don't want. So we have our grounded thing, uh, our grounded wire here connected to our chassis, and we're gonna slide the screwdriver up underneath the anode cap and you can probably see here there are a couple of wires you want to try and push in on the wires there's one wire disconnected and then from the other side you want to try and pop the other one out and you can see our cap came off here there are the two clips for it what I like to do is you know touch the clips here you can actually um, you know touch it to the side here to ground it out just to make sure that there's no power going through this thing all right once that's uh, you know all touched up there, you're touching the wires, there's no uh, power going through this um, transformer here, this flyback fly transformer. Now you're uh, okay to change these wires. And with these wires here, they're just a clip, and the clip will only go in one way, especially with this tube. Some, some of them are actually soldered onto the tube itself, and if that's the case, what you can do is just desolder the uh, blue and red wire if it's your vertical one that's reversed or your yellow and green wire if it's your um, or sorry what is it your blue and red wire if it's horizontal and your green and yellow wire if it's vertical so you just desolder those and switch them around the red and blue will be close to each other and the green and yellow will be separate from each other so but with this clip here this clip only goes on one way so disconnect it here All right. So now we have our, our clip disconnected, and you can't switch it around because the spacing that's on the bottom here, it won't allow you to uh, just simply switch it around, and you wouldn't want to do that anyway because you'd wind up reversing these two wires here. But uh, inside here, inside the front, you can see there's a little space here. Getting a very thin flathead screwdriver and pushing it through this top part here that has the flat spot on it all the way through will allow you to pull the wire out. So. And uh, once you get those swapped around, you know, you can put this thing back. And this works the same way if you want to uh, reverse it um, intentionally because you want to have like a shooting cab monitor, you can do that. All right, so we got that back on. And uh, disconnect this here from our frame. And we'll take our cap. And when you go to put this cap back on, you want to try and make sure that the suction cup is up so you can see that it's getting a proper connection. So you can flip it up here. Uh, this is kind of hard to do with one hand, but you can see the clips. Maybe you can see the clips. There's one clip. And we'll try and get the other one here. All right. Now you can see the two clips are in there. Then you can just lay your suction cup back down. And uh, bam, it's ready to go. So. That's how you discharge the monitor, that's how you switch around these wires here, and uh, that's how I was able to uh, correct the video problem itself. Now I can actually use the Gumbelina board. I don't have to worry about having a glass mirror or anything like that. I can just pull out the guns and bam, 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 it's ready to go. So uh, to show you everything's good, what we'll do is go back over here and go down to our woo, wire mess down here. A lot of people can be uh, very scared and nervous when doing uh, the uh, discharging of monitors, and it's not too difficult as long as you're careful. So we got that on there. Let's turn our board back on. Got wires everywhere. Um, I also have the uh, the test switch. Well, I don't have the test switch wired up. Um, <laughs> that's going, but the monitor's not. But I do have the degauss switch uh, wired up, which is kind of cool. And uh, we'll hit the switch here. And doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm still in my work clothes. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. I just get home and bam. So there we go. It's all back up and uh, yeah, it's ready to go. So show you this degauss button here in action. You can see it's working fantastic. So that's, uh, that's what I've been up to, guys, and uh, that's what I'm up to here at the moment. The reason why I brought this out is, for one, you know, I wanted to have a larger monitor that I could use for racing, you know, put in a coin. You know, having a, a bigger monitor for racing is definitely one that I wanted, 
But uh, on top of that, I also wanted to have another uh, kind of cab that I could use my regular games for, as well as if I had a, uh, whatchamacallit, a vertical game. What I can do easily, well, semi-easily, is since this monitor is not bolted into anything, what I can do is uh, just kind of tilt it on its side. And since I do have a few vertical boards, um, some of those being like Contra and uh, Time Soldiers, and eventually when uh, the uh, Neo Geo dev team gets uh, all the parts that they need, I'll have uh, Neo XYX, which is uh, another one, uh, another Tate or, um, you know, on end vertical uh, game. So that's another reason why I did this. But. Uh, I'll be hooking up the rest of the parts and the power supply and all that good stuff here pretty soon, but just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to and uh, what's going on. So, flip this off. This thing's kind of noisy. But you'll notice that with the uh, the power turned off, there's no there's nothing going to this monitor, so that's the way the monitor's set up. Flip the switch here, turn that off. And uh, yeah, so as soon as I get all this stuff, this disorganized, uh, mess of a room I'll clean back up here I'll make another video but uh, got my little coin slot here which I'll probably wire up uh, that also came from the Gumbelino one but uh, yeah <laughs> after I get everything all cleaned up and wired up and all that jazz I'll uh, throw up another video here to show you guys what's going on but that's a, a little bit of a uh, tutorial I guess slash what is Luke up to right now video but that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. Whee! That's a madness.